What's going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So our 12 rig has been doing great, 12 rig GPU. Uh, we're cranking out looking pretty good. We are mining Ravencoin on it and uh, we are at right around 160, 165, you know, somewhere in between there, uh, mega hash uh, on Ravencoin, which has been doing great. So in today's video, uh, one of the things I wanna do is as you guys can imagine, as I get more and more cards in, you know, we got a few there, we got a few over here. Um, we don't, we have nowhere to test or, or to do any hash rate videos or anything like that. In my past videos, when I had my six um, GPU set up over here, uh, you know, I had swap turning it off, swapping out cards, stuff like that. So a friend of mine gave me this idea and it worked, I think it's going to work out great. So I have an area down here. Um, that is not being used right now. What I'm thinking is, is I want to build a test rig Just Free laid out test rig right here on the bottom uh, rack um, So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this leftover Rubber mat material that was used to like put under like an elliptical or like a treadmill or something use that and put that underneath here uh, and then what I want to do is I have a handful of old HP towers some of them have i3s in them, some of them are Pentiums. I'm gonna grab like a, pen a Pentium and strip it down. I've never done this with like one of these HPs, but pick a, take a Pentium, strip it down, and let's just use one of these old HP power supplies, or I'm sorry, HP motherboards. Uh, I did check that we have an X16 slot in them, so we're good there. Um, so let me go ahead and grab one. We'll start to strip it down, and uh, we'll be back in just a second to show you what we got. All right, so we have this rubber mat out and good to go. Um, laid it out, uh, cut it to size. Uh, I know, I cut like a kindergartner. I know, I can't cut a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is put like um, a power supply over here. Um, I do have a 750 watt uh, ATX power supply, so we'll use that for this purpose. Uh, we're gonna put a motherboard on here, and then I'm gonna do like a Windows 10 solid state drive. Um, so here's the HP I selected that we have here. Um, and uh, it just has a penny a minute, nothing crazy. So uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to use the hard drive at all, um, and we're just we're not going to use you know CD-ROM drive. We're not going to even going to use like the HP power supply. So we're just going to go ahead, strip this down, get us down to uh, pretty much the motherboard. You know we got the memory in there. We're going to use. Um, we have an X16 slot right here, which will be perfect, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and strip that down, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so here's exactly what we're dealing with. So we got the HP motherboard stripped out, good to go. Um, we have eight gigs of memory in it right now uh, with a Pentium here. And uh, we actually stripped out the power button as well um, so that we could just easily power it off and on. Don't need to do anything crazy with a jumper or a flathead screwdriver. Um, so that'll work out well uh, to get that reconnected right here in the bottom corner. Um, we have a solid state drive, nothing crazy, just 120 gig solid state drive that I'm gonna load windows on. And then as you can see, we kind of stripped down our case pretty good. Um, so nothing really left on this thing. Um, so we'll go ahead and scrap this. Who wants to see your ROM drive, right? Um, and then here is our 750 watt uh, power supply um, that we did. This is a Ares game. It's a bronze 750 watt power supply, but this is, you have to remember, this is just for a test rig. Um, so what we'll, maybe we'll use, we have an XFX, um, 588 gig card we'll use that as a good guinea pig here once we get this up and running so let me go ahead uh, i'll pause the recording and then i'm going to build everything right here and i'll show you guys what i got when i'm done all righty guys our test bench is built let's go ahead and take a look together and see what we got so uh, we have our motherboard here and check it out we have uh, our power cable onto the board and look we got it over to here so we can go ahead and power it on um, in addition to that, what I did do is I used a 90 degree SATA cable because here's the X16 slot and when the card sits here, it's going to, if I had a traditional SATA cable, it would get in the way. So we'll test this more with our first card here. Um, we have the SATA power going to our solid state drive. We have our PCI uh, 8 pin, double 8 pin or 6 to 8 pin sitting here ready for our first card. Uh, this motherboard, look at it, only uses a little four pin, which is awesome. Uh, we have our 24 pin here. We wired everything and just zip tied it to the back of the rack and ran it right over to our semi-modular Ares game 750 watt power supply. And that's it. 
Um, we did go ahead and put Hive OS. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about, uh, you know, so for, we're doing two parts. Hive OS and we're going to do Windows 10 based off of the card that we're using. So for this test, uh, for what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and remove... Can I do it one-handed? Nope, I can't. Hang on one sec. It's a little too difficult to do one-handed, I swear. So I detached the SATA uh, for our Windows 10 solid-state drive. I did go ahead and put Hive OS on a USB. We're just going to use that for this test rig. I'm not too concerned about it. It's a test rig, so I'm not doing any long-term mining on it. Uh, but other than that, I think we got everything good to go. I can't recall if my power supply is uh, in the initiated state, but we'll try it out. Oh, look at that. We got a light. We got a fan. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and see what we get. Alrighty guys, so we are over on the computer here. Um, right now, as you can see, this temporary USB is not actually what we're dealing with. This is something I'm testing on our 12 GPU uh, mining rig, but jumping over to this little guy, check it out. I named it Mighty Mouse. Our test bench is called Mighty Mouse, which I think is awesome. Um, currently it says it's offline because I made that phenomenal mistake of not plugging in an ethernet cord. So give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, we are up and good to go. Um, it uh, only took me putting the actual ethernet cable in to get things working properly, but we are set and good to go. Uh, there is an update, it looks like for Hive OS uh, since I created the USB drive for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that upgrade. When I come back, we'll go ahead and plug in our uh, XFX 580 eight gig card just to demonstrate how we're gonna use this um, test bench. So let me go ahead and run this. And when I come back, I uh, will jump over to the camera and uh, show you guys how we're using this. Alrighty guys, so we have our XFX 580 eight gig card plugged in and ready to go. Uh, as you can see, it went right into the board very well. If we did have the SATA plugged in right now, we're just running the Hive OS USB. You'd see how that, how we talked about the fact of needing a 90 degree. Um, so as of right now, we are just testing this out in today's video with the Hive OS USB. Um, but we do have the option to use um, Windows 10 on this test bench. And that's why I wanted to have that available with using MSI Afterburner. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the power button and uh, we'll see if uh, everything works out. All right, cool fans are powering up on, and uh, here we go. Oh, it powers on and then powers off right away. Interesting. Let's give it a second here. Come on, baby, what are you doing? All right, let me power this off and I'll see if I can figure this out. I'll be right back. All righty. So we did figure it out. Uh, I completely forgot with a lot of these like HP and manufactured boards, you know, like Dells and stuff like that. When you do have a uh, graphics card plugged in, the onboard stops working. So um, we went ahead and hit the power button here. We moved our DVI cable directly into the XFX uh, 588 gig card. And uh, we did have it boot up just a second ago into Hive OS. Uh, let's give it a second and see what happens. All right, so I guess we just have to learn a little patience here. Uh, it is up and running. Just took a second to boot here. Um, so it's in. There's no miner assigned to it right now. Um, but our test bench is up and it is working. Um, let me go ahead and jump over to Hive OS and we'll take a look and finally see what we're getting. Okay, so we jump back over to the computer, back and forth here. Uh, as you guys can see, it is reading our card here. It is the Radeon RX 580 8 gig card by XFX running our Samsung memory. Uh, there's no flight sheet assigned to it. Uh, so for this video, we'll go ahead and uh, assign Ethereum to this one. Um, because it is an 8 gig card. So that's going to go ahead and apply that. Um, for quick, all intents and purposes, uh, let's go ahead and just um, configure this real quickly with a preset uh, for this for our overclock settings, just for this demonstration, um, just to get some, some numbers. Look at this, 604 cardinality. Holy cow. That is an insane amount of people that have been using this right here. Uh, I'm just going ahead and applying these settings real quick. Um, let's set that to 20. Uh, there was, let's set this to 875 and I think we're good there. Um, and we'll just set our fan here to 75%. Okay. And let's just uh, save this. Okay. So we got a flight sheet. We got overclock settings piped into it. Um, so we should see this sucker start mining here in, uh, just a second. 
So we will jump over to, what do you think? Let's go back to our camera here uh, and uh, we'll take a look and see what we got going on. Check out the screen and see exactly uh, what we're doing and uh, we'll close things out. So one second. Alrighty guys, we have done it. We are good to go. So taking a look here, we are up and mining on our test rig. Uh, we're currently right around 27,928. Um, we could probably get much better out of this 580 with some, you know, more fine tuning of our overclock settings, um, but not bad for what a little half hour project. Um, so once again, we are using the HB um, motherboard uh, to get by with this on this single card. This is perfect for a test bench. This will work out great when I get new cards in. Um, but other than that, super excited uh, to play with this and move forward with this. I did label this uh, setup, this rig, this miner. Uh, Mighty Mouse, uh, just for this little tiny setup here. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video going over building out our own little test bench out of an HP motherboard. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe. Take care.